Different effects can be created by adjusting the tension on your brother overlock machine. This is called decorative surging or serger embellishment. Decorative surging can be purely ornamental or can be used to construct and embellish at the same time. Using decorative threads instead of standard sewing thread enhances the ornamental appearance of these stitches. Decorative threads can be used in both the needles and the loopers. Heavier threads should only be used in the loopers and require a lighter tension. Also, a general rule of thumb is that the heavier the thread is, the longer the stitch length should be. Flat locking is a technique in which the stitches are unbalanced to create the look we want. A flat lock stitch can be used to join two pieces of fabric or it can be stitched on a fold. Either the loop side or the latter side can be the top side. For project construction, flat lock stitching seams and top stitches in one step, resulting in a finish with little bulk. Thread the machine for a three thread stitch. You can use either needle depending on the weight of your fabric and threads. Loosen the needle tension to about one and tighten the lower looper tension to between seven and eight. If you want the loops on top, put the wrong sides of the fabric together. For this type of seam, you serge with the stitches off the edge of the fabric. Since the knife doesn't cut the fabric while serging, your seams must be trimmed first. Use a guide foot if necessary to ensure that the stitches fall off the edge or your seam won't lay flat. Once the seam is serged, pull the seam open. Press the stitches lightly if necessary. A flat lock seam is often seen on items that don't require durable seams, as it isn't the most secure stitch for areas that might receive stress. You can, however, make a flat lock seam stronger, thereby achieving both durability and decoration. Sew a conventional seam first, then fold the fabric on the seam line wrong sides together if you want the loops out. Set your overlock machine to the widest stitch and flat lock over the seam, again with the stitches off the edge. Pull the seam flat and press if needed. Trim the seam allowances close to the stitching. Serge your top stitching can be created in the body of your fabric by flat locking on a fold. Mark your fabric for placement of your decorative stitching. Remove the right needle of your serger and disable the knife. Lower the needle tension to between 1.5 and 2 and the lower looper to between 2 and 3. Raise the upper looper to between 7 and 8. Lower the differential to between 0 and 0.7. Serge along the fold with the stitches off the edge of the fabric. Then pull the stitches open. You can flat lock a decorative hem on casual clothing. Adjust your machine for a flat lock stitch. Fold up the hem allowance and press. Fold up and press again with the raw edge encased. Flat lock, stitching off the fold, being sure you catch the edge of the fabric. Pull the stitching open and press lightly. Your brother overlock machine can be used to attach ribbon, lace, or other fabric strips to a base fabric. Flat locking can give these strips a wonderful decorative edging at the same time they're being attached. Mark your fabric where you want to stitch your applique. You can use a marking implement or simply press folds where you plan to attach your trims. Fold the fabric 
and lay your applique piece on top, aligning the edge of the trim with the fold. Serge end to end. Cut the chain and open the fabric. Turn the fabric and fold on the other mark line. Again, be sure that the applique piece lays flat on the fabric and that the edge meets the fold. Serge end to end once more. Cut the chain and pull the fabric flat. The rolled edge is probably the most widely used decorative serger stitch. It can be used for hems, edge finishes, and even seams in delicate items like lingerie. You can quickly give your kitchen or dining room a fresh new look as the seasons change by changing the table linens. Napkins, tablecloths, and placemats really are a snap to make with your machine. To set up your brother's serger for a rolled hem for napkins, remove the stitch finger and remove the left needle. For lightweight woven fabric and standard sewing thread, set the right needle tension to four upper looper to 5, and lower looper to 7. Adjust your knife to between 6 and 7, and shorten the stitch length to R. Cut the napkin fabric 18 to 20 inches square. You can use standard sewing thread or decorative thread like woolly nylon. Remember that the tension and stitch length settings will vary with your thread choices and the knife settings may change with the fabric. Do a test stitch and make any necessary adjustments. Be sure to let the knife shave the edge of the fabric as you stitch for a clean and consistent fabric edge. Here's a tip. Some stiff or loosely woven fabrics may not roll easily, resulting in an edge that isn't smooth. To prevent this, Place a strip of Trico bias binding, such as seems great, on top of your fabric and catch it in the stitching. Trim away the excess close to the stitches. Some fabrics are too heavy or too loosely woven to roll with a narrow rolled hem. Try using the left needle and change your knife setting to between 5 and 6. Adjust your stitch length to between R and 3. If the fabric doesn't roll, lengthen the stitch. The longer the stitch, the more able it is to roll a heavier fabric. Delicate fabrics like chiffon and satin require a delicate hem and a scarf edge rolled hem is the perfect choice. Remove the stitch finger and the left needle. Set the needle and upper looper tensions to four. Increase the lower looper tension to 7.5 Lower the differential setting to 0.7, set the stitch length between 2 and 3, and set the knife to 6. Serge the edges of your fabric, trimming as you go. What a quick and easy way to create beautiful scarves and handkerchiefs for yourself or for gifts. Add a feminine touch to ribbing by giving it lettuce edging. Adjust the serger for a rolled hem. Stitch along the fold of the ribbing, stretching the ribbing as you go. Stretch more to get a more ruffled edge. Be careful not to cut the fold with the knives as you stitch. 
You can ruffle the hem of a knit skirt the same way. Fold the hem allowance up and serge along the fold using rolled hem settings. Stretch the fabric as you stitch. When you're finished, trim the hem allowance close to the stitching.